Meta leverages AI to monetize WhatsApp, tax hike threatens Uber and Bolt in Kenya, and the CBN has lifted ban on fintech companies. Meta has launched its first AI-driven art targeting program for businesses on WhatsApp. Announced by CEO Mark Zuckerberg at a conference in Brazil, this new program aims to generate revenue from the popular chat service. This shift introduces targeted advertising tools leveraging behavior data from Facebook and Instagram to optimize ad delivery. This marks a significant change for WhatsApp, which has traditionally focused on privacy. Additionally, the company is gearing up to introduce something called an ad break on Instagram. This feature will work just like the short ads you see on YouTube, lasting about three to four seconds before you can skip, or sometimes requiring you to watch the whole ad. The ad break is set to debut on Instagram Reels, potentially forcing users to watch an ad before they can keep scrolling. Currently, this feature is being tested with a very small number of accounts. What do you think about ads coming to Instagram Reels? We'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Meanwhile, ride-hailing giant Uber and Bolt warns that their Kenyan operations could become unsustainable if the parliament approves a proposed 6% significant economic presence tax in the Finance Bill 2024. Bolt's public policy manager, George Abbasi, highlighted that this tax would push the effective rate to 22% on gross turnover for non-residents, ignoring operating costs. This, according to Bolt's tax manager, Celia Kuria, would make rides under 500 Kenya shillings unprofitable. Both Uber and Bolt argues that similar taxes forced foreign firms out of Nigeria and could do the same in Kenya, threatening drivers' earnings and potentially causing mass job losses. And before we go, the Central Bank of Nigeria has lifted its ban on fintech companies Ope, MoneyPoint, Kuda, Pompe, and Paga. They can now resume onboarding new customers after a five-week suspension due to concerns about illicit foreign exchange transactions. The CBN initially imposed a ban on April 29th following the blocking of over 1,100 accounts linked to peer-to-peer -peer crypto trading. However, the ban remained until May 20th when the CBN provided conditions for lifting it, including blocking peer-to-peer -peer crypto transfers and mandating physical address verification. And in other news, the Central Bank of Nigeria has revoked Heritage Bank's licenses effective immediately. Transfers and withdrawals via Heritage Bank on RiseVest will no longer be successful. Customers are urged to update their RiseVest account with a new bank to avoid interruptions. And with that, we've come to the end of today's news update. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Until next time, it's Bookie here saying, Bye.